everybody, Carol Siddle here with uh, Junk Journal Maniac. It is Saturday, July 9th, um, and it was storming this morning. It's still raining a little bit. I think it's supposed to rain off and on. Um, so, it's, it's still kind of, I guess it's a little after 10.30 in the morning. Um, so... Um, waiting on the, the dryer and the washer so I can get some clothes washed. Uh, tomorrow's my birthday. I'll be 69. Weird. It's weird to think about that. I'll be 69. The next year I'll be 70. It's like, what? <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> so, anyhow, um, I've been working on this journal, the writer's journal, and I did a couple videos. Um, I haven't had too many views, so I'm not sure if you guys like this kind of thing and you just rather would see my farm stuff. You know, it's, it's hard to tell. I really could use comments on what you guys prefer to see. If you are just stopping by my channel and say, hey, this is the kind of journals I, I, I would want to see or whatever, um, so that I can do what the public likes. Um, but I also like to do what I like, so I'm still doing this one. I'm going to finish it up. I'm, I'm really enjoying doing it. Is this quieter? Something different? So I'll just show you what I've got done. Um, and then I'll just start doing some pages. So I put this on here. I did a bunch of, and I've got some more. I've just got to cut them out. I went through and got a bunch of quotes, writer quotes and printed them out on some vellum and that was fun. So I got, and I did different fonts. I downloaded a bunch of different kinds of fonts. Um, and so I've got them. I love this one. We are writers, my love. We don't cry, we bleed on paper. Boy, that's so true, because I'm a journaler. Um, but what's so funny is I don't make journals for myself. Um, which is, I know, kind of weird, but I like to buy other people's journals. <laughs> so I've got one from Arnold Austin. I've got a couple from Get, um, um, Diane Shaw, my old barn door um, on Etsy. And um, I got one, uh, Brenda Baya. Um, it's a little small one. It is the sweetest little beautiful little journal. And it's a small one. And um, I'm saving that for something really just like a momentous occasion because it's it's just a few pages. But it's so pretty. Uh, she sent that to me with a box of beautiful papers and stuff. So, but anyhow. That's the song I added. And I'm, I'm gluing the washi as well as just sticking it. Because, you know, it's crinkly paper, so I've got to make sure it lays down right. So, I did that. I think you guys saw that. Um, these, are, these are actually stickers. Um, well, this is a sticker. This is not a sticker. Oh, must have cut that one out separate. Because it's a different um, pad. This is one where I took the whole ink pad and just laid it down and stamped out the whole ink pad. And, um, oh, I'll show you what I'm gonna get. It's the Stampers Anonymous. Like, I'll take the whole thing and stamp it, just the whole thing like this, and just run ink over it, stamp it onto eight and a half by 11 paper. And then I go back and either cut with scissors or use a, um, I use a die cutter, because I, I don't really care if it, mixes it up um that's kind of fun and so i'll do that and that way i can get a lot of and i do that on sticker paper it's really easy really cheap so and these i just took little pieces of, of paper just little pieces of paper to write notes on nothing nothing really fancy fancy and this i just added a little piece of um coffee guy paper then over here, I did a list. Um, that 
that took a few minutes <laughs> getting all my numbers um but it was fun to draw the lines and and just number them so i have that this has an old uh geez this i throw it around vintage um dictionary page so stuck that in there and did a little bit of inking there this has just the cluster here and this one i did some lines and i like doing um i mean i'll use a ruler sometimes but i like doing my own lines and i don't really care if they're zigzaggy or or just not perfectly straight or aren't stamped because that's what's cool you want to put a bit of yourself into the journal um and then i got i love that butterfly and then here's another little belly band with some stitching on it. Um, here's a piece, scrap piece I had and I just did a, a stitch design here and put loving this and it fit perfect in there. A little bit of washi. And then this one I actually did, it's on parchment paper. Um, and then just did a uh, one of my washi tapes down and put a little pretty green because that, that pocket kind of took up a lot of space, so I, it just needed something there. And then this one, um, I'm, I'm a big Ray Bradbury fan, uh, Star Trek, all that. You know, I'm a, my family is, we're huge, 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 huge Marvel fans. Like, we, we go to the, to the movies probably at least a couple times to see the same movie. And then when it comes out, we watch it on TV and my granddaughters can quote you everything and um, they're so fanatical about, uh, not Star Trek, Star Wars. They, they know the whole history of every character. It's like my youngest granddaughter, she, she's turning 13 next week and she will just go on and on and tell you the whole history and you're like, okay okay well that's cool and did you know and she always says and did you know <laughs> uh, but it's you know they're really into it um but what i was trying to say squirrel you know me i squirrel a lot um it says your intuition knows what to write so get out of the way i love that, <laughs> love that. <laughs> and this is the pretty little butterfly there and just a little collage here. Another little collage here. A little stamp in there. This one. Oh, this was fun. Let me see if I can get in the light, any. Can you see? It's. I took some gesso and mixed in some um, metal. You know, that metal stuff you can get. It's different color metals and. You mix it in, it's like a paste. And I mixed it in um, so you can see, I'm trying to get where you can see it. I put bronze in so you can kind of see it in places. And then I took um, this, Perfect Pearls Mist, and this is Perfect Pearl. Create a dazzling pearlescent shimmer. That was pretty hard to get that out when I haven't finished my coffee and it did it did it gave it kind of a nice little sheen and then I put um I put you know I had this already on there and I put the names of some authors because one of my washi tapes is all the names of authors which is pretty cool so I just thought that was fun to do um then I stamped on this um Proverbs 31 25 she is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Now, and just put this on here. This is clock ticking, and it has the date, so, you know, I thought that'd be fun to write on. Just a little collage here. Please don't leave an untold story inside you. And she just looked like an author. She looks like she's at a desk, so I thought, I imagined her to be writing. Um, here's just another little collage. Your story matters. Don't hold back. Um, here's another little collage. This is kind of cool. 
you could put a little secret note in here. It says identification check. And you could actually write a little something in here because that's paper. Um, yeah, just have fun with things. And that's where I stopped. So now I'm going to be moving on. See, uh, to see what I want to do here. So let me pull all my stuff back. So that's fun. It's, and it's, it's starting to, you know, I'm starting to get a little puffy here. And I still got a whole nother signature to do. So, I mean, I'm not going to make you guys go through it. Because I will do a flip through of this when I'm done. But um, I bet you guys just might enjoy watching me do a couple pages. But, you know, I hope you do. Um, I've got this piece that I did. And I don't want it the because it's the same paper as this. I, I don't want that right on it. But I thought it would look really cool next to it. But it's a little bit wide, so I'm going to have to tear it down. So I think I'm just going to tear this part off. And actually, I can use that somewhere else. Just gonna do this. And see, that's another piece I can use on another page. So there's that. What's cool is you can write on this, and then you can write on this. So should I put it in the middle? You can kind of write around it. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I might even leave it open on this side as a little pocket because I did make some pockets in some some places and I've got some really cool vintage papers that I got from my friend Holly when she sent me my happy mail so I might go through there um, and find something to put in there so to be there when I do my flip when I do a flip through so yeah I kind of like that I'm not going to put anything here because that's for whoever if they want to put you know something on there they can if they want to stamp on it if they want to write on it if they want to put a picture there um, that'd be a great place for a picture so and then we've got this place over here. This isn't the strongest paper. It's not as heavy as the brown paper is. You know, it's pretty sturdy. Um, so I might just add a strip of washi. Because I, I always normally just run it over my glue, my washi tape. Um, because I don't trust, I mean, this is really good washi tape. I mean, it's really got good stick to it, but you know, after a long time, it might not be so. So I always make sure I glue it down. So we have the alphabet. I have so many of these. I think, um, hmm. I walk forwards. They have all, all these quotes, writer's quotes on them. I haven't used this one yet. And it's just a different alphabet. So I kind of like that one, actually. Let's just do that. And we'll just glue this one down. Can't pull too hard because I don't want to the paper. There we go. My handy dandy scissors. And I always cut from the back where I can see where the line is. Because I can't see. Oh, 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 I meant to tell y'all. Um, if any of you saw my last video, I told you about what my daughter's going through. And um, 
if you if you said prayers for her, thank you very much because they worked. My daughter is pregnant, and they saw the heartbeat. She was so nervous. She was almost like when they had to go to the ultrasound um, because this is a embryo transplant, and they don't, you know, her first one didn't take, so she was really nervous um, about the second one, and um, she was. She was just like a wreck, basically. And she, she said, because um, she wanted to see, this is where they were going to check to see if it had, I mean, all her numbers were good. All her pregnancy hormone numbers, all those, those were really good. But they wanted to check to make sure that the, the heart had started beating. Um, and that it, you know, was viable. So, um, when they went in there and laid down and everything, the first thing, the first thing the pet said was, oh, look at that good heartbeat. And I'm sure she started crying. No, my daughter, I would have, <clears throat> would have been falling like a baby. <laughs> I'm such a softy, y'all. Oh, God, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Um, I just, that's just who I am. But I don't make excuses for who I am. Um, God made me just how he wanted me. Sometimes I'm like thinking I was, I'm the cosmic joke. <laughs> oh yeah, remember when I made Carol? <laughs> I was really playing around then. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you just don't know. You just don't know. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't remember doing that one. There's the pen. I love these flowers. These are such beautiful stamps. Um, I believe I got these. I believe I got these at a second hand store. When I get paid, I'm going back to that little store. I love it. It's like a, um, a community co-op um, little secondhand store. I love it. And they give you free bread. <laughs> free is good. So, because we got letters here, so let's do numbers here. Let's just do it. Do you think that's too big for the page? It's kind of long. You know what? I might tear this down. Let's tear it down. And I'll use, I can use these, I use these little scraps everywhere, so. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Now to get that sticker paper off the back. That's the fun part. Making y'all watch me get sticker paper off. Especially when I tear it, it's harder to tell where it is. And y'all, I don't have any nails. They break, they tear, doing all this. Um, I tried to, um, oh, there's a spot. I tried to get nails, like one time, like have the acrylic nails put on. And yeah, that lasted probably two days before I took them all off because I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I, I couldn't function. <laughs> I couldn't pick up my paper. I could, there, it was just not, it was, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty, y'all. wasn't pretty. So, I gave up on the nails. Plus, it costs a lot of money to keep those things up. Lots of money. This girl ain't got lots of money. Um, that's why if you subscribe to my channel, it'll really help me get to a place where I have a little bit of extra. Because I tend to run out of food money by the end of the month. Okay. Oh, I think that right there would look good. Right there. That's a pretty little stamp. That came off of one of those um, Tim Holtz um, stamps. I'm not sure. I think it's the new one. Oh, it might not be. Oh, I don't see it on the new one. So it must be on Field Notes. Y'all, it took me so long to get that field note stamp. 
Every time I went to get it on Amazon, it was sold out every single time. And I had it so that they would send me a message when it went back on. And um, so I got a message from Amazon. Field notes is back in stock. Boom, went and bought it. <laughs> I may not eat, but I'm going to get my steak. <laughs> Aren't we crafters like that? I mean, before we even buy food, we'll buy our supplies. I mean, because I'm getting low on stuff. I get paid next week. Oh, thank God. Getting paid once a month is not easy, y'all. Um, but I get paid next Tuesday. Um, okay. And I need some glues. I need some of my art glitter glue. I've got this, but I have a bigger bottle, but I, this one's easier for me to operate. A writer is trapped in a person, Victor Hugo. Now I could make that a little, a little tuck. Oh, that'd be a nice little tuck. This way, this way, or this way, I think this way. So anyhow, my grandson was here. He left yesterday to go home back to Florida. He lives in Port St. Lucie, Florida. We don't get to see him that often, so it was really nice to see him. That is my son's son. I'll say that 10 times. And this is his, his mama and her partner in Florida. He had a great time. Him and my youngest granddaughter, the one that's about to be 13. He turned 13 in May. And so he always kind of lords over her that he's older than her. But um, they're like twins. They are like twins. They have always been like that since they were little babies because they used to live up here. So we saw them all the time. And they, they grew up together. And those two get together and start doing their... They're both into the Star Wars and they start doing their thing and it's like, don't even bother. Don't even bother. Don't even bother. <laughs> They're in their own world. So she was kind of sad yesterday when he had to leave. He asked me, he says, can I take her with me? My mom won't mind. And I'm like, well, maybe, maybe we need to talk to your mom about that first. I'll come back and, um, find a, a tag or something to put in here because I'm some of this I'm gonna have to you know I've added things to it since you saw it last so I'm just gonna leave that like that you know although a stamp would be nice wouldn't it or maybe a piece of you could do this I was thinking about, about putting that here. So whoever gets it knows the year. Of course, I do sign and date the back of my books. Um, yeah, while I'm thinking about it, I think that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the fabric tag for that. I want to get one of those little bottles that everybody talks about that they use for um, cake decorating. Somebody talk, I, something like Dolly or Dolly bottles or I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the phrase is, but there's something that bakers use, I guess, to do icing, and they say it makes your glue. You can get a much finer line, which would probably be good with uh, Fabri-Tac because A, Fabri-Tac tends to come out, you can't really, the top the way it is, you can't cut it like a teeny tiny hole. Um, so it would probably save on Fabri-Tac. I just, I don't know where they sell it. I think that's part of my problem. Do I have to go to like a specialty baking store or do they have them in the regular store if anybody knows that leave a comment below where I can get those or can I get them on Amazon Amazon is my friend 
And this one is my plan. People are asking me, what do you want for your birthday? I go, go to my shared wish list on Amazon. Of course, everything has to do with journals because that's my passion, that's my joy, other than my family. Um, there, I like that there. And then this to have like this, um, my card and yeah, information about the journal. So we got that done, we got that done. This will be finished up. Um, but it really does need a little something, something here, doesn't it? And I don't know about adding one of these. I don't know. Somehow this doesn't look right with that. It doesn't look right. Okay. That's kind of pretty. That goes kind of, you know. Oh! Stuff's lying around. Don't go in the trash can. Where are you going? My fan just blew it right into my trash can. <laughs> Cut that. Cut that fan. Um, it's kind of a paper fabric, so I'll, I'll use the fabric tech on this too. Usually, if it's fabric to fabric or something heavier, I'll, I'll use the fabric tech. It's a little bit messier, but I know it's not going to go anywhere. And it doesn't take much of this stuff, people. It does not take much. Okay, so let's just put that there. Swish, swish, swish. It just needed a little something, something. But I'm trying to leave room for writing because this I have something that you can write on it, like a tag on right on the back. You can write on the paper. If you saw my journals, I I write everywhere. I write in circles. I write. You know, yeah, that's what I do. So, did I use the, this is, I need to trim this one a little bit. Let's get a little, too much white going on here. Oh, it doesn't want to tear. That's better. I, must, I think this was right after I re-inked my pad. So it's pretty dark. Um, and I had a quote... I had a quote that I wanted to use on this. In fact, I had I might, I might put Because the typewriter is words, you know. Might do that. It seems like I had a quote that I wanted to go with this one, but I'm not sure. Um, The things you are afraid to write, write that. I just feel like the quote's gonna take up a lot of since I'm space since I'm doing this. Write what disturbs you, what you fear, what you have not been willing to speak about, be willing to be open. That's true. In your journal, don't hold back. 
because you will appreciate, I mean, I've got journals that go back 10 years and actually further back than that. When I was going through my divorce, I look back at them, I'm like, oh my word. I'm so glad that I got past that time frame. Um, and it, it really came out with a whole different ending than I thought it was going to. I don't know what I'm exactly looking for. What am I looking for? I want a piece of material in here. That's what I'm looking for. I want a piece of... I mean, I have... I have this. I don't want lace. I don't feel like this is a lacy kind of journal. Although I have a lot of beautiful laces. Pretty ones. Again, thanks to my friend Holly. Let me see here. I have a lot of paper scraps. But I, I want a different, different texture. I'm just trying to think through this. Sometimes I gotta get it right in my brain. Just a small piece, maybe. Just a small piece, maybe. Like that, and then. I'm not sure about the roses. Are you guys feeling that? Because I'm not. I'm not really feeling that. Not feeling it. It's just, I don't know. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. Ay, ay, ay. What do I want? What do I want? This might work. I think I'm just, I'm just looking for texture, some different texture. I think a piece of this might be more like what I what I'm looking for. Play with your stuff. Before you glue anything down, play with it. I always kind of like to it's it's like you'll know when it when it's right. You'll go, that's it. Okay. That's that's kind of what I wanted. And then even do it. I can even do it more like that. And I'll cut that. Nah, nah, don't like that. Um, or I could do it this side. So you can see the words maybe a little bit more. And bring this down, bring this up. Yep, yep, I like that. It has that symmetry. And I always try when I'm doing a cluster to use odd numbers. Because when I took art, this, it's not has to do it something with how your brain looks at stuff. Um, it's more pleasing to your brain to see something that's got odd numbers than it is even numbers. I don't know. We, we got weird brains, in other words, people. Just so you know, we got weird brains. Okay. I hope everybody on this Saturday's doing well. Just enjoying whatever it is you're doing today. Um, oh, the sun came out. Sorry, squirrel. Um, I just noticed that out my window. Oh. Now maybe the poor dogs will get a chance to go out and go to the bathroom. <laughs> 
We've got one. Our golden doodle loves the water. He'll like, okay, I get to go outside and it's raining. Yay. But then I got to come back in and mom's so mad at me because I'm all wet. Um, then we got the lab border collie mix. Just sits on the porch. She says, I ain't no way, no way. She says, you're not getting me out there in that wet. Have you lost your minds? She'll just look at you like that too. It's like, what were you thinking bringing me out here? Um, but Leo, Leo loves it. But poodles are uh, water dogs. I mean, they're sporting dogs. They're, they're actually were bred, you know, for hunting. So, but he loves the water. Um, he just got a haircut, like a summer cut. So he's like really short right now. Um, and he had matted up a little bit. We were brushing him. We thought we were doing it right because he's our first doodle. Um, apparently we weren't. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I printed this on, uh, <coughs> well, it looks. It looks like it was wallpaper or something. Um, so we had a mobile groomer come out, um, and groom him, she really had to cut him short. Like, short. <laughs> kind of looks like a greyhound now. I didn't realize her noses were so long with all the mustaches, so we're excited to have him grow his hair back. And she taught us how to, how to properly, you know, brush him and um, take good care of him. So we had to apologize to him multiple times telling him how sorry we were that we weren't good good parents and he forgave us and we're moving on. So now we know what to do on how to groom a poodle. Bless her YouTube. Um well Labrador Labrador he's a no not a lab. He's a golden doodle. But he's more on the poodle side, so his hair is poodlish. Poodlish. I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. Okay, so I like that. I like that it has a little bit of the texture in there. Right? Right. <laughs> okay. There we go. That was a good page. I like these little... I like these. I got these like in a roll at a second hand store and there's like four or five little squares on a page and they're like old recipe stuff but I really like the the writing it's like it, it's, it's in like somebody's handwriting so it looks kind of neat and it's kind of hard to read I can't always read other people's handwriting because I never, I, and I think it has to do with the fact I'm left-handed, but um, I very, 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 very ever write, write, like cursive. I print. <laughs> Printing is my thing. But I, have, I do have uh, carpal tunnel in my wrist. In fact, I should have on my... I got these really cool uh, carpal tunnel gloves, but they're not thick. They're thin, and when I'm doing that, and they don't have the fingers. I should be wearing them right now when I'm doing all this, but I don't want to get glue on them. They're brand new and they're nice, and I'm like, oh, they're not doing me any good in the drawer. But you know, when you got something like that, you don't want to screw it up. What about this guy? What about him? What about 
think I am. And yeah, that's a little enough. Oh, more sticker paper. More sticker paper. Oh, come on, come on. And doesn't seem to like which way it goes. <sighs> Is this a spot maybe I can, oh yes, there we go. Yes. So anyhow, so all I got planned for the rest of this day really is Laundry. Lots of laundry. I don't mind doing laundry though. I don't mind it. Because I like clean clothes. <clears throat> God, when the kids were here, we went to the pool a lot. And I'm starting to get brown already. Okay, so we're gonna do, yeah, goes this way, right? Wait, let's pull this way over. See, isn't that fun? Let me check where we're at on time. Oh yeah, we need to just go ahead and stop here. Um, if you're interested in watching me do more pages fine or if you just want to wait through the flip flip through I'll probably do a few more pages because I got a whole nother um whole nother signature here to do so but it's coming along it's coming along I think it's really pretty so thank you for stopping by I hope you have a great rest of your weekend um have a happy Saturday a happy Sunday a happy life um God bless everybody and take care of each other so I'll talk to you later. Peace out.